Hello everyone and welcome back to Core Monsters. Today we are in Minneapolis, Minnesota. We have 10 trucks here for you this evening. And that field of trucks is going to include Airborne Assault driven by Herbert Miller, Asphalt Assault driven by Samson Richardson, our Freestyle Champion Busted Knuckles driven by Christian Holt, Cottonmouth driven by Lonnie Hall, King Carnage driven by DJ Payne, Napa Auto Parts driven by Damon Newton, Rat Trap driven by Randall Boone, Reckless Red, driven by Opal Baxter, Tonka, driven by Phil Butler, and then Warlord, driven by Axel Weber. And as per usual, we're going to be starting with racing. Out first, we're going to be seeing Herbert Miller in Airborne Assault coming out. He's getting set up now. Staged up and ready. Here we go. And there's the green. Goes into the corner. Cuts it nice and wide. Good air over the little red cars there. Kind of easy on the throttle, just getting the truck through the course. A little awkward off the ramp there. Time of 18.180 here for Herbert Miller in Airborne Assault. Next up, we're seeing Axel Weber and Warlord coming out. And there's the green light for him on throttle. And he's going to get it down into the first turn here. Looks a little bit smoother than we've seen from Airborne just a minute ago. Nice jump there over the cars. Very slow through the second turn. Turns it a little too tight and has to correct up over the cars. Time of 18.306 for Axel. Next up, Asphalt Assault, driven by Samson Richardson. Truck that can be fast. Kind of slow off the line there, though. I don't know if he had it in the wrong gear. It sounded like it was struggling, and it does not want to turn in. Good air over the cars, gets it into the next turn here. Gets it to turn here. Time at 18.578, so it was still not quite what he wanted there. Next up, we're seeing DJ Payne driving King Carnage. Now, DJ's told us that he wants to get better results than he's been getting so far. So maybe we'll see him pick it up here today. Go so far, it's been a very, very good pass for him. Gonna go through the second turn. Nice and smooth, very good run for DJ. 18.499, still not as fast as he would have liked to have been. Next up, Damon Newton driving at Napa Auto Parts. Sorry. We go off the line. Good leave. Takes off. Gets it into the turn. Nice and smooth. Cuts it nice and tight on the inside there. Beautifully done. A lot of these guys have said they're a little bit faster when they can keep it nice and tight to the cones. Really wide through the second turn, though. Up over the cars and across the line with a time of 17.878. There's a good time there for Damon and Napa. Next up, the rookie, Phil Butler, coming out in Tonka. New driver, new truck this season. I'm excited to see how this goes. Very good down the front stretch into the first turn. Very beautiful control through the turns and over the ramp. Keeps it together through the second turn. Back on the power up and over the cars. Time of 17.813. Just a little bit faster than we saw from Damon. Very good run there for Phil. Next up, Randall Boone and Rat Trap. Now we know these trucks are fast. Both of these, this truck and his teammate. Very fast, a little bit of a wheelie off the line. Nice and tight through turn one. Very smooth over the cars. Again, nice and wide through the second one, though. Right on the power. Gets a good round. Time of 16.461. Now that is fast, and that is going to be hard to beat by anyone coming out. Now we're seeing our freestyle champion, Christian Holt, driving busted knuckles. Hasn't had great racing results. He would like to get better results than he has. There he goes. Nice and smooth into the first turn and around... Up over the cars. And nice and tight through the second turn, but pushes wide after and kind of has to turn late. Time is 17.933, so it is not fast enough. Next up, Opal Baxter driving Reckless Red. You know, this is a new chassis this season. She's still getting used to it, but it's so far shown to be good for her. Gets it turned in. Kind of gets on the rear steer a little bit late there. 
but still very smooth. It's like down through the next corner here. Pushing wide, she's late on the throttle. That's a time of 17.598. It's not a bad time by any means, but it is nowhere near fast enough to take the lead. Next up, Lonnie Hall coming out in Cottonmouth. Truck that won basically everything last season. Huge wheelie off the line. Very tight through the first turn and smooth over the cars. He should be giving Rat Trap a run for his money here. And here we go, back on power and over the car. 17.189, not even close to his teammate in Rat Trap, but still a very, very fast run. Now, final results in racing. Rat Trap's taking the win with a 16.461. Cottonmouth following that up with a 17.189. Reckless Red with a 17.598. Tonka with a 17.813, Napa with a 17.878, Busted Knuckles with a 17.933, Airborne Assault with an 18.180, Warlord with an 18.306, King Carnage with an 18.499, and Asphalt Assault with an 18.578. So it's very, very good runs by most of these drivers, but Rat Trap just had the number today. Very fast pass for him. And now we go into the second part of our show today, which is going to be freestyle. Our freestyle order today is going to be Warlord opening us up, followed by Asphalt Assault, then King Carnage. Then we'll see Airborne Assault, followed by Tonka and Napa Auto Parts. Then we'll be seeing Reckless Red, Rat Trap, and then to round out the night, we'll be seeing Cottonmouth and Busted Knuckles. Now keep in mind, we do have the reigning freestyle champion here tonight in Busted Knuckles, as well as other very competitive trucks. But up first, Axel Weber and Warlord, let's get the night going. Coming right out looking for the first hit, heading right for it. It's like we're going right off the back of the racing lane to start. Good air off the cars. Really very solid crunch on landing. Turning around very slowly, looking for his next hit. So we're going to the other racing lane. Very good Sky Wheelie. Rolls himself off the car. It's been very nicely done and controlled. Low momentum so far, but that's okay. We're just warming up, getting out, getting a feel for the new track. Very nicely done. Good air off of the ramp there. Turns it right back around. Slow rolling back to the next hit. Going back to the racing lane. Not quite as nice as his first hit, but at least he's making moves. Rubbing around, picking up the momentum here a little bit, getting a little bit of throttle in there. Really kind of hunting around for his hits here. You know, good solid hit over the cars there. Wasn't afraid to hit that racing lane from that direction. And looks like we're going over the racing lane on this side of the track here. 15 seconds remaining in the run. So he's lining up for the ramp. Nicely done. Stabs the throttle. Doesn't quite get the wheelie I think he wanted out of that. He goes looking for his next hit. Is he going to get there before time runs out? He does. Good solid final hit there for him. Score of 16 for Axel. It's not a bad run. Just low momentum. Next up. Samson Richardson and Asphalt Assault. A truck that has been known to end on its roof most of the time in freestyle. So let's see what he's going to do here today. Good first hit there over the racing lane. Gets the truck turned right back around, going over to the other racing lane. Good air. Not afraid to be on throttle and keep the momentum up. As I say that. Very, very nice Sky Willie going off of the red cars over there. Rolls over the ramp with two tires there to his next hit. Nice hit over the yellow cars. Gets in trouble. Lands on two wheels. Is able to bring it back down and not end up on his lid. It's very, very nice truck control here for Samson. Kind of got his heart rate up there a little bit. You can kind of tell in the way he's maneuvering the track now. He definitely picked up momentum. Good air off of that ramp. This is the first time we've seen someone go across the ramp that direction. Looks like we're going to go into some donuts here for Samson. These have been dangerous for him in the past. How are they going to end here today? 30 seconds remaining on the clock. 
These are very, very nice donuts, though. Beautifully done. Very nice Sky Willie off of the red cars. 15 seconds remaining in the run. Whips it right back around. Takes a light hit there. Goes for the slap Willie. He gets a little bit of one out of it, but I've seen bigger from him. We're not going to hold it against him here today. Up and over the bus stack. Nicely done. Good run for Samson Richardson with a score of 23. I think that is well put. It was a very good run for Samson here. Next up, DJ Payne and King Carnage. Really wanting to turn up this season and really improve on what he's done in the past. It's a very nice first hit with a little bit of a slap wheelie to follow. Going for the bump. Right into a huge slap wheelie. Now, Samson, that's what you're supposed to do when you go for it. That was a beautiful slap wheelie. Took the tailgate off the truck and everything. Right to the red cars. Beautifully done. Uh, starts kind of looking for the next hit here. Looks like we're going to the yellow cars. Huge sky wheelie off the yellow cars. Very, very beautiful. Turns it right back around tight. Looks like we're going for the bus stack up and over the top. Nicely done. Rolling around for the next hit. Big air off the racing lane. 30 seconds remaining in the run here for DJ. What is the next hit going to be? Looks like we're rolling over the back side of this ramp here. Nicely done. Big sky wheelie. Beautiful truck control to really put it where he wanted it. It was gorgeous. 10 seconds remaining. Looks like we're going back for the racing lane hit. A little awkward off it. Hits the bus. Oh, and there goes the right rear and the tie rod in the rear. Unfortunate for him. But that's how his run is going to end. Time is up anyways. That's a score of 21 for DJ Payne and King Carnage. Next up, Herbert Miller and Airborne Assault. Guy that knows how to drive but likes to keep the truck together. He's very proud of his his design on this truck. He doesn't really want to have to pay to fix it, as I have been told. Our top three right now are Asphalt Assault, King Carnage, and Warlord. Score to beat right now is a 23. There's Herbert rolling over the back of that ramp there. Big air from Herbert off of that ramp. Beautifully done into a slap wheelie. This is some of the biggest air I th think we've ever seen from him. Coming out and really throwing it down. We're rolling around, going to find the next hit. Looks like we're going for the racing lane. Good air off the racing lane there. Coming right back around. Thought he was going to go for the bus stack there, but I guess he changed his mind. Going for the back of the racing lane. Nice sky wheelie. Very, very nicely controlled. Keeping a good momentum. Similar to what we've seen out of some other trucks. Maybe not quite as fast as we've seen from the likes of Samson Richardson. Uh, 25 seconds remaining. Up and over the bus. Beautifully done. Wheelies it over the bus. That was a gorgeous maneuver there from Herbert Miller. Gets it whipped right around. He's slowing up. I'm not sure what he's doing here. He's setting up for a big hit with 10 seconds remaining. Looks like he very well might be. He's on the throttle. Here we go. It is in time. Huge air off of the ramp. What a beautiful final hit here for Herbert Miller with a score of 24 to take the lead. Very well done there. Next up, the rookie coming out in Tonka, Phil Butler. Going to come out and want to throw down. He has showed promise so far. Very nice hit over the bus into a small slap wheelie. Gets it turned right back around. Going for the racing lane. Good air. We've been seeing very similar hits from everybody off of that racing lane. No one's really outshining anybody there up to this point. Looks like we're rolling up the back side of this ramp. Huge sky wheelie. Nicely done. Keeping the truck moving, hitting almost everything in his sights. Not afraid to tear the truck up if he has to. Huge sky wheelie there on the cars. Breaks the tailgate loose on landing. 
I love seeing the way these guys come up and approach these ramps to just send these trucks up to the moon. Nicely done. Lands it on the right rear in one wheel. Rolls it down the ramp and back on all fours. Beautifully done. Hits the small bump there into a big slap, Willie. Yes, sir. Beautiful slap, Willie. Gorgeously done. Probably not quite as nice as we saw from... Well, I can't remember who it was off the top of my head right now. I believe it was King Carnage. Here we go up over the next ramp. Beautifully hit. Not quite as nice as we saw him hit it the first time, but still nice to done. He's up. Got the right front hiked up in the air into these donuts. It's up on two now. He controls it, brings it down. Looks like that is going to fill his time. Not sure if he's going to park up or give you some more hits. Here you go. Big air there for Tonka off of the ramp. But this last hit doesn't count. But he's here to show off for you as well. We're still waiting on scores. Looks like a score of 25. That will take the lead for Phil Butler in Tonka. Very nice run. Next up, Damon Newton coming out in Napa Auto Parts. Another guy that we've kind of expected a little bit better result out of. Hoping to see him pick it up this season and do some more with that truck. Nice air off the racing lane. Maybe the most vertical we've seen there so far today. Whips it right back around. Kind of cross threads across the ramp onto the racing lane there. That's the first semi cross thread we've seen for the day. Big air up and over, kind of cases it with the rears. Somehow the truck stays together and he's able to continue going. He goes looking for the next hit, immediately going to the racing lane. Nicely done. Whipping the truck right back around. Looks like we're going, to, oh, it's shut off. Did they shut him off? Did they find something broken? Or has he got an electrical issue going on? I'm not sure what's going on there. Truck's fired back up. They're gonna let him continue running. But that does hurt his momentum a little bit here. Kind of goes back for the racing lane there and needs to get back in the groove now. You know, some drivers, when their trucks shut off, it makes them mad. We saw it last season with Opal uh, when she had a really big crash. 30 seconds remaining in the run. Interested to see how the judges are going to take into effect that, that stall there. Nice hit there off the small ramp up over the bus. Nicely done. Kind of just hasn't picked up the momentum back from where he was before it stalled on him. Nice hit off the red, red car lane over there. So far it's been a very nice run. Time is full so these donuts will not be counted in the score. But they are a beautiful set of donuts for the fans. Got to love them. And he is just going to continue sending it. Score of 23. It is not going to be enough, unfortunately. I believe that stall hurt his score here. Next up, Opal Baxter and Reckless Red. We were just talking about her and her crash last season. But she has come back this season and really improved. Now, the score to beat right now is a 25 being held by Phil Butler in Tonka. Right to the bump into a slap, Willie. Beautifully done. Nicely controlled. Doesn't send it all the way up. Keeps it nice and level beautiful truck control big air off the red cars awkward bounce when it landed though maybe a part of still getting the new chassis set up figuring out what it needs when it lands but here she goes whipping it right back around to the bus here up it beautifully one of the more aggressive hits we've seen over the bus stack. Oh, there is a camper out as well with a couple of limos. What are we going to see here? Opal's going right for it. She said, I'm not afraid. Here she goes. Up, oh, beautiful wheelie up over the camper. That was a gorgeous hit. And she sheds some pieces off and continues going. Looks like she got a little extra air conditioning trying to cool her off. She is hot in this run. Here we go, 30 seconds remaining in the run. What is next? Big Sky Willie off the red lane. Beautifully done. Oh, there goes her extra air conditioning, unfortunately. 15 seconds remaining. She's going right for the big ramp. Beautifully done. Pitches the nose down perfectly. Gorgeous landing. Oh, it's gorgeous. Here we go up to the bus stack again. Beautifully done. Huge slap, Willie. It's up and over. Just a little too much throttle as it came up. Score of 27. She will take the lead. 
What a beautiful run. Now, Randall Boone coming out in rat trap. Just watched what happened in front of him and knows he's really going to have to come out and throw down. Can he take this away from Opal Baxter? Huge sky wheelie to start. Here he goes, whipping it right back around to the small bump, but he's going to get big air off of it. Most people have hit that slow and gone for a slap wheelie, so I like what he did there to change things up and really give it a good hard hit. What a smack over the bus stack. Awkward landing, but he's able to get out of it real quick and continue. Beautiful over the racing lane. Good air. Nice level jump. Whips it right back around. Some of the best momentum we've seen in a run so far. Beautiful Sky Willie up and over the dirt ramp. Randall's really throwing down a great run here. Huge slap wheelie off of the camper stack. That was a beautifully done slap wheelie. One of the best ones we've seen of the day. We're going to go into some donuts here. 30 seconds remaining as he goes in. Flat and smooth. Beautiful donuts. Some of the prettiest I think we've seen on the tour. Here we go as he continues his run. Back up over the camper stack. Really just looking for anything in his way, keeping the momentum up, keeping the flow going for you guys, really trying to give everyone a good show. What an awkward landing on the front end, the way it bounced up. But he's able to control it and bring it back. Looks like his time is over there. Here's a one good hit there off the racing lane. Whipping the truck right back around. Up onto the bus stack to park the truck. Score of 28. He will take the lead away from Opal Baxter. What a beautiful run for Randall Boone in Rat Trap. Next up, Lonnie Hall coming out in Cottonmouth. Again, like I said, in racing, a truck that has won basically everything he has competed in. Wanting another win here, and he will throw down. He will destroy this truck if he has to to get it. Huge air off the racing lane. Getting it immediately turned back around. So going right back to the racing lane. Going for a little bit of a sky wheelie there off the racing lane. Nicely done. Really not getting the, the pop off of that lane as we've been seeing a lot of trucks. Oh, here he goes off the small ramp. Goes for the slap wheelie, but doesn't get it. And this is a truck that is known for its wheelies. So kind of odd to not see him get that slap wheelie there. Attacks the bus stack aggressively. And turn the truck right back around to go up and over the camper stack, it looks like. Nicely done. A little bit of a slap wheelie off of the camper stack up over the buses that was beautifully done absolutely beautifully done and he's whipping it back around he's coming to a stop and we know what this means when it's cotton mouth huge power wheelie there it is dragging the bumper across the stadium gorgeously done 20 seconds remaining in the run here we go up and over a little wild over the red racing lane there looks like the truck's getting a little bit away from him but that just means it's a better show for everybody. Up and over the bus stack, kind of cross threads it even. Beautifully done. Five seconds remaining in the run, coming up on the end of time here. Beautiful Sky Willie to end the run. Score of 26 is not enough. And looks like he broke the truck for you fans here. I told you he would break it trying. Now the final truck out is our reigning freestyle champion, Christian Holt and Busted Knuckles. Now, I would suspect that he's going to put on a show for everybody. He's got a score of 28 to beat, and he has seen what has happened. He wants to come out and beat all of it. Here he goes. He lines up for his first hit right to the small ramp here. Going right for the big slap wheelie, but catches it awkwardly as he hits that other ramp and is able to bring the truck back down instead of ending up on his lid. Going to turn right back around, going right for the racing lane. Getting great air. Kind of slow rolls over the ramp there. Right for the camper stack up and through. Forget everything about the camper that was there because it does not exist anymore. Now something has his his left front there is locked up. He's got to shed the piece of that camper off of it to break it free. Here he goes. He's going to continue up and over the bus. He said, I don't care if the truck's broke. I'm still going. Oh, what an awkward hit as he bounces up and over that. But controls it, keeps it from, again, going over. Huge air off of the ramp there. Awkward hit on the right front. What a bounce. 
Truck is shut off. Are they going to let him refire after that? That was a very, very hard hit on the front end. I'm not sure what we're doing if they're going to let him refire or not. Looks like they are. 30 seconds remaining in the run. This has been a wild run so far. Going right into the next hit. Huge air off of the racing lane. Going right back for the camper stack. He said he wants more. Slow rolls over, smushing everything in his path. He's going to cross right across into the back of the bus. Up and over. Not quite over, but definitely works his way across the stack in a very unique way. Now his time is over, so anything else will be extra. But back up and over the bus stack. What a beautiful hit cross-threading everything in his way that is a perfect score of 30 for our freestyle champion christian holton Buston knuckles going to be getting the win here today in minneapolis now final results for freestyle Buston knuckles on top with a perfect 30 rat trap and reckless red following close behind with a 28 and a 27 Cottonmouth with a 26 tonka with a 25 airborne assault with a 24 asphalt assault with a 23 napa with a 23 King Carnage with a 21, and Warlord with a 16. This was a great showing today, everybody. I had a great time being here with you to watch the show. Please be sure to join us next week as we go to Baltimore. We'll see you there.